Hey guys, Break here, and today I want to talk to you about the deflation which is happening in Battle for Azeroth, what it means for gold making, and how I have lost millions of gold because of this issue. So for those of you who don't know, deflation in WoW has basically been happening for the whole of the expansion because gold has been harder to get, and this means that there is less gold in the economy, and this means that things are just not selling for as much as they used to. So right now it's a big ticket item, but you guys have probably seen less big ticket sales such as this for most of the expansion because of this deflation. So we're going to talk about that in this video and I'm also going to show you guys exactly how much gold I have really lost. Before we get into the details of the gold making, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So if you haven't heard, Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in lots of different areas such as business, design, and lots and lots more. And there's actually a link in the description of this video for you guys to click on and you'll get two months free membership to Skillshare, which is really nice. You don't have to pay a single thing. It is two free months for you. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently doing an MBA business master's course in London. And for this course, we have to do lots of presenting, lots of public speaking for our business ideas. And Skillshare has been helping me a lot with that in terms of presenting publicly and speaking in front of an audience. And there's thousands of different courses. So if you guys wanna continue learning, then do check out that link in the description. It also helps out my channel, so do give it a look. Anyways, there are many ways to look at deflation. Some people like to look at the price of a WoW token and how that's gone down, but I like to look at items. So right here on the Undermine Journal, we can look at the price of the Reigns of the Crimson Death Charger that mount you can get from doing that Lich King quest. Now I think this is a pretty good indicator of deflation. So if we look at the all time price that's here and the green line is uh, the region average. So it went up in 2017 and 2016 with the Warlords and with the Legion inflation and it went all the way up to about 500,000. And in fact, if we look at the BFA launch date, which was like August 14th, it is here at about 500,000, 480 to 550. So it was about 500,000, the region average. And right now, the region average is 240,000. So it is worth half what it was at the start of BFA. So what's that? In less than a year, it has dropped down by half. It's now worth less than half what it used to be. And this is the same for a lot of mounts. About a year ago, the Minion of Grumpus mount right here was worth over 200k, went up to like 300k, 250k, and then it fell all the way down uh, and it hasn't recovered at all and it's now worth 120k. Now, usually it always falls down at Christmas time because the mount gets, you know, a lot more people get the mount. But if we look at 17 to 18, it was pretty high and then it dropped down and pretty much the same thing. It got to about the same height uh, last year and then dropped down, but it just hasn't risen up at all by April and May before it had risen up, but it just hasn't moved at all. And the price has stayed literally the same at 120 K right now. And this has been pretty bad for me because I always invest heavily in seasonal mounts. It's how I make a lot of my gold and it's just been a disaster, the deflation for me this time around. Uh, I bought a lot of these Minion of Grumpuses on multiple servers. So on this server, I purchased them for about 110k. On other services, servers I bought for like 120k, so something like that. Between 110, 120, and now they're worth 70k. I lost about 50 or 40k per Minion of Grumpus. And how many have we got here? 14, I've got another probably 10 on other servers. I've got about 25 minion of Grumpus and I've lost about 50k on all of them. So that is 1.2 million gold lost just from minion of Grumpus investments. I did a similar thing with the Swift Lovebirds. These were bought for about 60k uh, and right now the region average is 47k. The region sale average is 35 so about middle of that sort of 40k these are selling for and I bought them for 60k so I've lost 20k each on these okay right now on my server they're kind of holding their value but 
I think that's probably not going to happen for much longer. So again, I lost another few hundred K on those. The one thing that I didn't lose gold on was the spring striders because I bought those real cheap. I bought them for 30k and uh, the region market value is 50k and there's 75k on my server. So that was actually a good investment. But most of my investments have been pretty bad. Another thing I invested in were volatiles and I bought a lot of them. About 40 gold each I paid. And again, if we look at their prices now, uh, the region average when I bought them about a year ago was like 45 gold and now the region average is 25 gold so these have almost halved as well so on the wow economy forums there was a very interesting post from billy vardis who's this awesome pet collector and pet seller so follow him on twitter if you're interested in anything about that but he made a post a year ago about battle pets investing in and i'm pretty sure i covered it in a video in my investment video and uh, it seemed like a good idea investing in legion pets because you know after legion they're going to be harder to get there's going to be less of them around and the price should go up but because of deflation this didn't happen at all so as you can see here this is what happened so the token price almost halved went down by like 40 percent so that kind of goes with what we've been saying about the gold value pretty much halving uh, and look at all these pets, 40%, 60%, 30%, 40%, 20%. Uh, this is the TCG or the big pets, like 26%, 50%. Even some of like the main battle pets, 33%. All pets pretty much have gone down, including TCG pets, including good battle pets, and including the Legion pets. And if you think about it, these numbers are even more sort of bad than what they suggest because we predicted that these pets would have gone up so by now their price should have probably been up by 50 percent because that's what usually happens uh, about this time the next expansion but instead they're down by an average of what like 30 percent 40 percent 20 percent i don't know say an average of like 30 percent so instead of going up by 50 they've gone down by 30 so really that's like an 80 percent or whatever the maths is drop so it's even worse than what this number suggests really because we expected them to not stay the same but actually go up so that's how bad it's been gold is worth about half what it used to be but that's the thing gold is not worth half what it used to be gold is worth the same as you can see here and really gold is probably worth more because now you can buy more stuff with the same amount of gold so gold is actually worth more but anything you bought with gold and any items have gone down by a lot. And that's what's really bad for people like me who make a lot of their gold from investing. And these pet drops have also been pretty disastrous for me because as you guys probably know from my pet videos, I have about 15 servers where I sell pets. Each server has about 50 to 100 pets, probably about 100. So I have probably 1,500 pets average value of about 30k per pet so that equals out at about 40 million gold in pets that's how much i have and uh if they've all gone down by 30 percent then that is what 12 million gold that i've lost probably doesn't work out like that but i would say maybe half that maybe a third of that i've lost probably four or five million gold just in how all of my pets have dropped dramatically in price so if i go to one of my random servers and open up the mail of all my pets that haven't sold pretty much all of these guys have been dropping in price and it's very very sad to see but yeah i think overall i've lost probably five million maybe in pet value another sort of two million in mount value and then probably some other stuff as well i had boes that didn't sell that have obviously dropped i've had transmogs i probably lost close to gold cap in uh, value of my items just because of deflation uh seven million eight million something like that that's how much gold i've lost it's very depressing when you think about it i just hope blizzard can try and do something about it but the problem is with the game being so dead the economy just won't move at all and that's the problem until people get interested in the game again, then, 
you know, the items aren't going to be worth anything anyway, if you think about it. If people are actually interested in the game and it's doing well, that's when people are prepared to spend a lot of gold on items. Right now, they're just going to spend their gold on paying for game time or buying Hearthstone cards or something with Battle.net balance. So until Blizzard sort of fix up the game and uh, maybe 8.2 will help, but unless they also introduce more forms of sort of income in the game, such as world quests that actually give you a fairly decent amount of gold, such as bringing back the mission table, unless they do something like that, then I don't see the deflation stopping anytime soon, or at least I don't see the items increasing in value anytime soon, and that's a shame. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think. What do you think is the main problem with deflation? Have you lost gold from it? Or have you made some nice investments? Do let me know. And remember to check out that Skillshare link. You can just sign up and cancel. You get two free months and you really support the channel if you do that, so it's free. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and until next time, see ya.